Good morning everyone. I hope you are all doing really well. Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. So it is Wednesday morning. I've had a shower. I've done a full body exfoliation. I've even put some fake tan on. Like I can't remember the last time I put any fake tan on. I use the Tan Lux, the clear mousse, and it actually dries really quickly. So I've like put my clothes back on already and it's a clear mousse. It doesn't transfer onto clothes, which I love. Um, I've put an Olaplex as you saw in my hair so I'm going to let that soak in for the day and rinse that off later. Put a bit of tan on my face as well. I really love the Bare by Vogue serum. Today it's going to be a wardrobe sorting out day. Um, I have a freelance assistant who helps me on random jobs and so she's coming around to help me with the wardrobe today because it's one of those jobs that I can do on my own but it's so much easier with two people to um, like think of different ideas of the layout I'll show you in a minute it just needs a mass like really layout so two brains are better than one hey I need to have some breakfast I'm actually just gonna have a bagel for breakfast and yesterday I went to B&M and I got some really nice um, like Christmas decorations so we are decorating the house on Saturday I can't wait to put up the tree I got a new tree I bought one from Balsam Hill I haven't opened it out of the box yet so I really hope and pray it's like all good um, so that is all going up Saturday and I wanted to get a few more Christmas decorations so I went to B&M and got some really nice things I'm just gonna make my bagel and then I will show you what I got here is my bag of B&M goodies. I'm so happy with the things that I picked up. First of all is this wooden Merry Christmas sign. I thought that was really nice. That was £7. These are not so Christmassy, but um, I like having wooden like chopping boards out on the side and they're so handy when you have people around to like... Um, there's like little serving boards, so I got two of those nice little boards. They were five pounds. I was really looking for these little white ceramic houses. I do like this side, but like I don't love the heart, so I think I prefer this side. And I also don't love this like woody bit. Like I like, I wanted it to be wood, but this kind of, I don't know, I just feel like that makes it look quite cheap. Um, so I've got some dark wood oil that I might just like rub a little bit on that and I think it will just make that look like a little bit more premium. That was five pounds. I got this snowy Christmas tree. This was eight pounds. I thought that was quite cute. I have already got a couple of those in my decorations, um, but I just like kind of spreading those around the house. Oh, oh, it's come out of the box already. I picked up a... Uh, cranberry and orange Zaflora because I, th I feel like it's just I love like the crib the house smelling really festive um, Oh, I also got some gift tags um, These were one pound for 40. Let me show you up close. They're really nice The designs are really really nice Sometimes I find the gift tags can be like super tacky, but these are really nice. So they were one pound and then I also bought some snow spray. Like, I don't know what I'm going to use this for, but I thought that it might be handy. And also, I was going to order some on Amazon, and it was £7.99, and that was £1. Oh, and then, finally, I got, talking of the little white houses, um, I got these. These are on, like, um, I think you're supposed to hang these on the Christmas tree, but I bought three because I thought that they would look quite cute, just like, oops just like sat next to each other. I have got another one, the third one, and they were three pounds. So those are all of my little B&M bargains, and in total I spent 38 pounds. I'm so excited now to decorate on Saturday. So as I said earlier, today is wardrobe sorting out day. I have like a decent wardrobe space, um, but I just I just can't seem to organise it properly. It just doesn't seem to work at the minute. Some areas are like bulging and then other areas, like some of the drawers are nearly empty. I much prefer having things hung up because I feel like I can see it better. I never put it away nicely again in the drawer. Um, things just end up getting shoved in. So I'm really looking forward to like having someone else's opinion and just having like a second person to like bounce ideas off of for like the layout of it because when you're on your own I just feel like you run out of ideas um so under these clothes we've got four drawers this side three drawers there and two little ones I am potentially thinking about taking these little ones out because there is stuff in them but they could be moved into these drawers because uh 
one of those is empty and then this gives us more like um longer hanging space for longer dresses i've got a few jumper dresses and then maybe maybe like longer jackets as well um so potentially that is an idea i don't know how easy they are to take out but i'm sure we can figure it out i'm thinking of putting all my bags downstairs in my like office studio because I just feel like there isn't space for them up here. I don't like them being in this thing. Um, again, I like to see them and I've got a um, like shelved, you know, the Ikea Billy bookcase. So potentially they could go on that. There's loads of stuff under here that needs sorting. <laughs> Okay, we're making good progress we've got a charity pile selling pile some other piles everything's in piles isabella is very good at folding so here we go <laughs> yeah it stands up on its yes, own pretty much so which good. is what you want okay so that's what we're gonna we're gonna have to yeah just like section out vests and t-shirts and stuff amazing so. amazing it's all the It is now the next day. I didn't get to show you this finish because it got quite dark yesterday. It's looking so much tidier. So I thought I'd give you a quick whiz through of what we've done. So all knitwear is in here and I love that it's color coded from cream to dark. And then on this end, we've just got a few um, shirts and that's it actually. And some of these are little co-ward sets. So like this black one, it's got the trousers on there as well. And then oh, let's do unit by unit. And then in here, um, I had lots of basics. So just like little vests and t-shirts. Um, so they, we took those out of the hanging and put them in the drawer because I have quite a lot of drawer space that wasn't being used and the hanging areas were quite full. So we did have to move some hanging stuff to drawers. I prefer hanging because you can just see it all, but I did have to utilize these drawers somehow. So. I'm happy with that and then in here oh my gosh i had so much like loungewear and pajamas and so i had a huge clear out because the things i had was so old and holy and stained and just horrible so i got rid of it and i've just kept my nice sets so actually i can actually hope like feel a little bit nicer um at home so these are matching sets um so the only annoying thing is on this side, these drawers hit into the radiator, which I didn't think about when I was um, putting drawers on this side. So yeah, I've got a few sets in there. I've got a couple more, but they are in the wash. And then in this drawer, I just I just don't think it's going to stay this neat and tidy, if I'm being honest. Like loungewear and like sweatshirts, um, tops, trousers, jumper, trouser, trouser. So again, like more cosy kind of loungewear -y bits. And then an empty drawer at the bottom. So I can imagine that I'm just going to fill this up with crap. Um, and in this little compartment, we've just got like kind of clothing accessories, you know, like extra lint roll, dew wobblers and bits like that. Moving on to this section now. So this is um, blazers and jackets. Uh, again, light to dark, which I just love so much. And then my bags were in here before, which we have moved downstairs, so I'll show you that. But I had these baskets and they fit perfectly. Look, like three just fits so nicely. So in here we've gone hats and belts. So I've only got two little woolly hats and two caps. So they're in there. I really, really had a ruthless clear out because I do have a lot of clothes and I don't wear them all. So I was very ruthless. We've got um, 
three huge bags to drop at the charity shop so i will do that over the next few days we put scarves in there more scarves in there they're really thick so only two fit in that basket we did have a bit of a organize of my jewelry again took loads of stuff out and again all of the um all of those are also in the charity bags. My underwear drawer isn't that exciting, so I'll spare you that. In here, we have got pajamas. Again, this was something. I had so many pajamas, and some were so, like, oh, just not very nice. So I basically just kept the nice sets. Um, I feel so scruffy and horrible sometimes at home. So, um, and like wearing nice pajamas does make me feel nice. So I've just kept my nice sets, and then, Oh my gosh, this whole drawer is like leggings and active wear. But guess how many times I've been to the gym in the last six months? Zero. Um, but jokes aside, I live in leggings and I actually have, as you can see, loads. Um, I do like leggings. So these are all leggings. I think these are like tops and sports bras. Um, these are like old black leggings, so like dog walking leggings and shorts and bits in there. And then moving on to our final little section, um, I did have two rails of trousers, but I've condensed these, got rid of loads, and now these are all of my trousers. And at the bottom here, oh, the, the, these, I need to take these off, but um, the screwdrivers were in Tom's van. Um, so these will come off, but I took out those drawers there because I wasn't using them. And now having this slightly extra longer hanging area is really good for like jumper dresses and slightly longer things. So I've put, yeah, as I said, like jumper dresses, my leather jackets in there. Um, and then this little area has become kind of party wear. Um, but yeah, as I change my wardrobe over all the time. So obviously after Christmas, this will go um, to have a little bit more space in there. So overall, very happy. Didn't do loads on the shoes, just had a bit of a tidy up. But what I need to order from Amazon are the boot holder things so they stop from like slouching over like that. Sorry if the camera is so grainy. I'm filming this quite early in the morning and it's not like super bright yet. It's still a bit dark indoors actually. So yeah, I need to order the boot inserts for those and all my handbags went downstairs, so I will show you those. And then with my bags, we have put them on this Billy bookcase shelf, which is um, in my office downstairs. It just, th like, there just wasn't space upstairs for them, and now I can see them. I like to be able to see things, because if I can't see them, I kind of forget about them, and things don't get used. Um, this gap up here is really annoying me, because I've taken a bag out, but a black bag does go there. I love them like this. I don't know why I've never thought of this before. We kind of did them roughly in size order, but also colour as well so there's all my little bags and then some of the bigger ones um i've just hung on the side bought this in the Black Friday sales. It's a car scent diffuser. And I also bought this, which is the White Company, the winter fragrance oil. And I'm just about to go in the car to take Bertie to his little daycare place. So I thought I would actually set this up. I've got my smoothie to drink on the way because it takes about, without traffic, it takes like 25 minutes. So it's like an hour's round trip. So I like to always like take a little drink with me. Okay, so how is this working? Okay, so you pull this bit out and these are like little, they're like wooden sticks, I guess. And then you fill the stick up with your fragrance oil and then you clip that bit in your in the vent in your car. Um, so let's give this a go. Also, Marks and Spencers did some of these as well this year. Um, so if the white company have run out, then maybe try try m s so i'm going to saturate this stick in the oil and now my car is going to smell so festive oh and it's the first of december today i feel like i've got loads on that and it's all over the workshop oh that smells so good i've just got back from taking bertie well actually not just got back because i have got ready 
do you know what i've done my makeup that was so weird i just as i just saw my reflection i was like i haven't got mascara on what the hell i've like basically half finished my mascara Oh my god, I don't know what's going on with my brain today. You know, you're just on autopilot doing things. I haven't got mascara on and I also haven't got any like um, blusher or like the cream blush that I use. What? Oh my god. Anyway, um, yesterday, last night, we went to Costco. Um, I'm going to put in the clips I filmed in Costco. I just love it so much. I was so excited in there. They had loads of like just good stuff so i'll um pop the clips in in just a sec but something i did buy was this pistachio cream um i don't know why i bought it i got excited it was six pound fifty and when i googled it this exact one was 12 pound 50 on amazon so i think that's what made me buy it i thought i was getting a bargain but it's not really a bargain if you didn't want it is it so um i'm actually going to have a bagel and i thought should i put the oh my god Oh, do you know what? It smells like Nutella. Because it's just like a nut butter. It's well, I fought for Christmas. All the happy smiles and wishes. Your last forever. And I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be all right. These holiday wonders will open your mind. May all your wishes tonight come true. The love I live, dream I know. I am just packing all of my things because I am leaving in about half an hour. Yeah, half an hour. And I'm going on a very pinch me um, stay over with an amazing, amazing brand to an amazing place. I need to, I need to hurry up packing because I'd really like to have a bit of lunch before I go as well. With my job, I'm extremely, extremely fortunate to be sent a lot of items because whenever there's new launches or new products, the brands just have like a mailing list that they automatically send out to everyone, um, well to everyone on that list and I do receive a lot of beauty products. Also, not just beauty products, just lots of random stuff come in PR packages sometimes. So I never throw any of it away. I give loads to friends and family, I've taken stuff to the women's shelter and this year I thought as it's Christmas it would be nice to make little like parcels up and i'm sending them out to um people who are holding charity raffles so i put a note up on my instagram saying like if you're holding a charity raffle let me know and i would love to send a gift like a yeah a prize for the raffle um so i have been busy packing them all up so i've got one two three four five six seven eight nine so i'm excited for these to be sent out to everyone so um hopefully they can raise lots of money for charity <laughs> Honestly, this is such a pinch me moment trip. I'm at the Four Seasons in Hampshire with Needle and Thread. 
They are the most beautiful brand and I've known them and worked with them for the last few years and it's honestly like the biggest pleasure and pinch me moment to join them on their Christmas trip. Um, yeah, so amazing. So we checked in, had a cup of tea and then they had um, all of their dresses hung up. I'll pop some videos in here um, of and we could choose one to wear for the dinner tonight. So I tried on a couple of options and I have got my dress here ready to go for tonight. So I'll get ready with you later. Um, but I thought before we unpack and make the room a mess, shall I quickly show you around? I've actually wanted to stay at this hotel for ages. So you come in the door here and there is, a, well, let me turn the light on, a walk-in wardrobe here. The green paint is actually a lot softer than it's coming up on the camera loads of hanging space love that and they brought my bags up oh my god look my bag literally matches the wall and over this side is the dreamiest bathroom ever it's so big a lovely big bath over here this gorgeous vanity big mirror oh my god it's just so beautiful toilet big shower in here and then back out we go there's a little mini bar area here and then into the boudoir so this bed looks unbelievably comfortable look at the headboard look at that look at the pillows it's even got the um logo embroidered into the pillows and oh god they feel very good pillows and then around here we've got a little sofa oh they've chopped the cushions very well i like this like very nice plump cushions and then around here huge big tv and a little area there were some chocolates here and there was four and there's only one left so i'll leave you to um <laughs> decide what happened to those so another amazing thing is that they picked us up in polestar electric cars the car was amazing it was fully electric it was so smooth and super chic inside it was so nice and also they've got they've organized bobby brown makeup artists to come to our room and do our makeup so it is it's nearly four o'clock and at five o'clock oh no not five six o'clock I've got, um, oh actually, so I've got more time than I thought. Um, at six o'clock, I have got my makeup artist come into the room to do my makeup, which is such a treat because I never get my makeup done. I'm gonna take off like all of my makeup, get unpacked, and um, I've got a bit of work to do and I've got two, I've got an ad going live tonight and one first thing tomorrow, so I just need to make sure that I've got the update like the approved caption ready the links ready like i've got everything ready to go here is my outfit ready for tonight this is the dress that i went for in the end isn't it so beautiful sorry i've got the telly on as well and it's reflecting how gorgeous all of their dresses are hand embellished they are the most gorgeous such amazing quality and the craftsmanship that goes into them is just amazing and then i'm going to pair it with these gold um, sandals, these are from Next, and they're my little gold coach bag. I don't really make that much effort with my makeup. I feel like I just do the same routine all the time and just slap it on. But this has made me like want to change up a few things and like, put a bit more effort in and she used lip liner and it makes my lips look so much fuller and also really nice little like bronzy eye love it i am in my dress and i'm ready to go but the only problem is i can't do the dress up like i just can't get it's a zip back i've got it so far up but i just can't look i just can't do the rest i'm really hoping that i bump into one of the other girls on the way to dinner. Here is the dress, isn't it just, oh, it's just so gorgeous. <gasps> Love it. And then I've, um, oh, you saw my shoes and bag earlier and I've just put on, where is it? The Penn Halligan's Halfetti Perfume. <laughs> to 
go down for breakfast. Um, where I used the rise, the G oh, I don't know if I said that actually, I used the GHG rise on my hair last night um, just to like add a bit of a bit of something in there. It's lasted really well. I've only just gone over my fringe to um, kind of refresh the root area because that goes a bit a bit flat. Um, what else? Where's my perfume? I'm always, I feel like I'm always rushing. I'm never on, I hate being late and guess what, I'm late. I'm gonna wear um, the Jo Loves, this is the White Rose and Lemon Leaves. I got this little perfume in my Jo Loves advent calendar yesterday. I'm wearing the cream knitted set that I got last year from H&M um, with my Ugg boots. And I like to wear it with this scarf, but like, is this a bit much for just like sitting at breakfast? I feel like the scarf makes the outfit. I'm gonna wear the scarf and then I can um, always, I can always take it off, can't I? I'm back with this. <laughs> what have you got? Back with this little one. You excited? And my error got delivered. I, if you follow me over on um over on error <laughs> over on Instagram, um I was asking for heated error recommendations, and you all said the dry soon one. This was from Lakeland, so it has arrived. It's quite big, I think. There's like three three tiers so I'm very excited to do some washing over the weekend and get that on Bertie's oh off you go I've got some work to do now I need to catch up on my emails I've got loads of editing I need to do so I'm going to get all of that done this afternoon and then it is Saturday tomorrow and tomorrow is the day we're going to put up all of our Christmas decorations so I'm going to end this vlog here and I'll start a new vlog tomorrow with putting up all of the Christmas decorations I need to go up in the loft tonight actually and get them all down um yeah and also we got our new tree oh well I'll tell you all about it in next week's vlog but thank you so much for joining me for this vlog i hope you're all doing really well happy december hi bertie you sussing out where i've been oh thank you i just wanted an i just wanted an ear wash um so yeah thank you so so much for watching and i'll see you next week bye say bye bye <laughs>